Good morning, everybody. So we're here with you. We're gonna do some mowing of the pasture. Some of you asked you wanted to watch me go around in circles mowing the grass. So we've got our tractor ready, all hooked up to go mow the field. Here later, we got some repairs to do. And I got some wheel spacers for this thing. Make it a little bit more stable. And easier to put my tire chains on in the winter. But we've got to also fix this tube. I've been picking up a lot of rock. And this tube is cracked, so we got to repair that. And give it a bath and do some servicing on it. We'll video some of that too. Alright, well, let's get started. bunch of annual rye that's what we plant in our little field behind the house uh, we don't have any irrigation rights so we don't can't water anything so the previous owner kind of sold them during the purchase of the property so there's not much we could do about that and the way they run the irrigation now, we wouldn't get much water anyhow. So eventually we'll just drill a well. But for now, we plant the annual rye because it doesn't need irrigation and it grows all year. Um, but it gives a good cover to keep the dust down around the house. And all the little critters that we have out here, they like hiding in the tall grass. Uh, we have quail and uh, there's badgers out here and coyotes and all kinds of stuff. And our cat likes to ha hunt all the ground squirrels out here. So, but before winter, we cut all the grass down so it can reseed itself. Um, so we'll let it sit for like this for a couple weeks and then we will go get some more grass seed and a cultipacker seeder and put some more seed down because we kind of like it natural out here. Um, saves me from mowing grass all the time. So if you guys have any questions about that just Put it in the comments and we'll uh, try to answer the best we can. Um, another part of my field we haven't got to yet, but hopefully this year we can get the seed in it so it can do its thing over the winter and then we'll have some more grass next spring, next summer. That's 
not a very good sign. So, the filter, the DPF filter, is completely packed full. So now we got to take it off and send it in and get it cleaned. I just got off the phone with them. If I can drop it off today, they'll have it back to me on Tuesday. So I guess our mowing day is over. All right. So this isn't the first time this filter is plugged up. Wonderful emission stuff. So we've got to put in the cylinder stop that I made so we don't crush ourselves. And I just got a piece of tubing, cut it out, and it just slides in like so. So when the cylinder loses pressure, it doesn't come back down on me and try to kill me. So here's the stop. And I have to get the tractor to cool off a little bit. But we've got to pull that filter out so they can open it up and clean it and it's a lot cheaper than buying a new one a new one of these filters is about five grand through john deere and it's about 500 bucks to clean it so definitely worth getting it clean instead of buying a new one so now we just wait all right guys we got that wiggled out now I'm going to head down and drop it off. I said to drop it off before noon so I can get it back on Tuesday. Yeah. So, all right, well, let's clear it. All right, guys, we finally got our filter back from cleaning. Got it set in. Got it clocked. Um, it wasn't as dirty as last time, but it still needed it. So now I just got to bolt it all in. All right, guys, so we finally got the tractor back. I had to send it to John Deere so they could reset all the codes because of the DPF filter was plugged up. We got that cleaned out. So now I finally got it back home and we're gonna finish mowing our field. We just had some rain, so that's gonna help. So we'll get to it.
All right, guys, so I've got everything mowed down. This portion of the field is pretty much as weeds. Um, none of our natural grass came in last year. I was planted it too late. So we're gonna till it now, get it prepped. So here in about a month, we're gonna plant some grass. That field over there is all the rye grass that I got going. And it kind of reseeds itself. So we don't have to worry about the dust and all that. So let's get it all tilled up. <laughs> Telling, we'll take the rake through it, pick up some of the weeds out of it, and then we'll take my homemade roller and roll it flat. And then here in about a month or so, put our grass seed on it. All right guys, so we've got the tilling done. Now I'm gonna walk around the field real quick, pull up some rocks that popped up, and then we'll grab the roller and roll it flat. So this part's a little faster than the tilling. All I gotta do is drive around. The roller does all the work.
Well guys, that's gonna do it. I got the field flattened. And uh, we're gonna call it a day. Ooh, we got some little buddies over here. Over in the neighbor's field. Maybe little babies. Little babies. Mama's up there by the neighbor's house. This has a fence with two more smaller babies. So, we're going to call it. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you next time.